hello everyone back to my channel today this is going to be my first day of volunteer in the hospital so i think i'm doing an eight hour shift today i don't know but it's my first day so i wanted to record like literally everything but i can talk to y'all during lunch break but i wanted to be a vlog so yeah stay tuned <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna This is the screw that I was wearing, which is khaki. Just gotta do my hair, so I'll get the job on and my hair. Then I'm gonna get a bleed, and I will see y'all on lunch break. This time with my hair. Just one, two, and I'm gonna do two screens out. So yeah. Okay, y'all, I am back, and I'm just waiting for her to come in because I've been waiting for like a long time, so like 8 o'clock, and she's not here yet. So, I guess, since I can't have my phone on me all day, I can see y'all at lunch break, but I'm here at least. I'm here. <laughs> but yeah, I will see y'all when I get to lunch break, which probably around like 12. I don't know yet, since I'm new. I just got here. But yeah.
now that I'm at home, I'm finna get in the shower. So yeah, I'm getting in the shower. Then after that, I'm gonna talk to y'all because a lot of people text me like, how did you get into this at 16? Like, how you do this and that? So I'm gonna like talk to y'all about how I got to be working out bad. This is the like this. So, I'll be back with y'all when I got the shower. Okay, hey y'all, so now that I'm back at the shower, I can explain to y'all like how to get into the program and stuff. So I will first start off with saying this because I don't think y'all was subscribed to me at the time. When people who asked me, I don't think y'all subscribed to me at the time when I did my urban camp and I got to the mid camp and in the dorm. So basically what you need to do is some schools were in Montgomery, Carver, Lanier, um, Lee, I think y'all do it too, but I know Lee did it, I go to Lee myself. So first you need to sign in with MPEG. You can ask a teacher because it's too late now to apply for MPAD. So definitely apply for MPAD next year. If you're 11th grade, 12th grade, if you're 12th grade now, then I will get into that because you probably already missed it if you have not signed up for MPAD yet. I was explain how to still get in the program. Okay, so for juniors, 11th graders. Okay, so apply for MPAD. If you already got an MPAD, a separate MPAD, or a plan on doing it next year for 12th grade, then it's what you need to do. So once you get an MPAD, sign up for health science. Once you do that, let some months pass by and it's gonna be people coming up there like about different stuff so they come up there about like college stuff or like nursing programs it could be anything so once that happens make sure you participate in anything even if it's HOSA or like nursing programs it could be a chem anything to get any type of nurse or medical experience and that's what I did so this lady came and hand out a med camp. That's how I got to stand on campus and stuff like that. I did a med camp and I don't know they gonna do this again for those who didn't sign up for impact last year. I don't know they gonna do it again or not, but I'm just gonna explain it to y'all. And I did upload a picture today where I was working at the hospital. So people had questions about that. So I will get into the first question about that because I had people texting me all about it curious about how I got into it. Someone asked me, how do I have to be to volunteer? So I don't know about 15 because I am 16 and I say 16, 16 through 18, my bad. 16 through 18 to volunteer. And like, you can volunteer as adults. So like if you're in college, you can volunteer. It was one more question somebody had. They're asking me where to apply it. Okay, so I'm again to that. MPAD is really gonna help you out because I got into all this stuff from MPAD. You gotta have like straight A's, AB on the road, or like a 3.6 and a GPA. So work on your GPA, work on getting better grades, and I will go from there. But if you got them grades, then I'm just telling you now, different people gonna want you to do different stuff for them. So gonna be different people come up to MPAD and be like, okay, pass this out, okay. Before you got to school, which is in April, they're going to pass out a paper saying Bath this East, Bath this South, going to be doing volunteering. So definitely get the paper. And once you get the paper, make sure you, you know, fill it out, go up there to Bath this or East, where you decide to go at, which I chose South, and just go from there. And once you get in, then they will give you one of these folders. So my mouth is weak. I just break it down. They will give you one of these. And it's just my schedule in here, my notepad where I took notes today, and just rules on what to do, not to do. So you would have that, which I took notes today. And this is a schedule of where I'm gonna be working because it's gonna be different departments. So how to get to volunteering is through MPAD. If you don't have MPAD or not planning to go to MPAD, I will still try to ask a family member who work in the hospital, like, okay, when are they doing volunteering for teens again? And then mainly start during the summertime. So like I said, like April or May, then definitely gonna look out or go up to the hospital and ask about it during May or June and go from there. Cause I highly recommend it. If you wanna be a nurse, doctor, I highly recommend it to you because it's very good experience. And once you have that, they gave me this bag, which is like band-aids, a pen, and peppermint, all that. And some other black thing. I don't know what this is. Yeah. And I also, is there anything else in my bag? No, but they get like this little cord. And for the cord, you just a coupon, like they give you money for food. So it's just a coupon cord. They be like, it's big. And you take pictures today. 
the same day that you go for orientation, saying that you gonna get your picture taken. So like mine, they have one decent to hang on to your shirt. And you have something else on your shirt too, which they team volunteer. This is gonna be like on. I'm gonna show y'all that, but yeah, hold on, y'all. This is this, and you have like just different stuff on it. This is, which I started like because I went to bed count. So they will definitely understand. They work with you. So if you're busy or got sports or something going on, they definitely understand. They work with your schedule. So yeah, let me show y'all the other stuff. Okay, I am back finally, but. <laughs> You also get one of these, which I was talking about this and just sew it into your uniform or whatever you want to do with it. And you get a locker too. I took a picture of some, I took a picture of my locker because I thought I was gonna forget my locker or how it look. Cause it's like a whole bunch of them with a key. So also, I'm not gonna be doing this next year or not. I don't know for sure, but they also have y'all wearing khaki uniform. So this is my shirt and this is my bottom and what you will need is clothes and shoes you can't wear no jewelry and i will marry the ponytail of course sometimes I have it up whenever i want to but yeah i'll that with my watch that's really it and how to get into this by just starting for impact you don't want to do impact your grace not good then i don't know what to tell y'all because i mean you're gonna need like at least a b or like one c or like at least a 3.6, 3.7. As long as you have good grades, you're a good student, you can get in. As long as you apply for the MPAD, they're gonna have different stuff, you're gonna get into it. You're gonna get some nursing and program, just participate and stuff. That's all I can really say how to get into it. But if you enjoyed this video, give me a huge like and make sure you comment, subscribe to my channel. I will be dropping a um, drive me video for the first time alone. Stay tuned for that. If you want to see more of my nursing videos, just come below and I will tell y'all and I will show y'all how to get into this and that. I will be doing more stuff as I go do my nursing journey. Bye now, babies.